Hello, my name is Matthias Wieser. I'm professor of clinical and biological psychology here at Erasmus University Rotterdam. In this presentation, I'm going to present you our master program of clinical psychology. The mission of our clinical psychology team here at Erasmus University is to understand mental health issues in urban contexts. So consider this young man on the picture recently having lost his job, starting to drink and taking drugs and now experiencing psychotic events or even aggressive outbursts. So what we want to understand is why does this young man behave like this? So what we are asking is, is this behavior of a person healthy or is it pathological? The next question we ask is, how can we understand this behavior? So what is the background of this behavior? And the last question is, how can we help this person? And with these questions, we do our research at our clinical psychology department, but also our master program. So what is our master program all about? In this master program, you will understand adult psychopathology within urban contexts. We have a strong scientific point of view. That means we believe that the best science leads to the best understanding of mental health issues and therefore to the best treatments. And as we are in the great city of Rotterdam, you will learn that we can use the city actually as a field lab to investigate mental health issues. In our teaching, we use a wide mix of different teaching um, methods ranging from large-scale lectures to small-scale problem-oriented work groups. Our education is student-centered. That means we uh, put a lot of efforts in individual supervision. We also believe in learning by doing. That means you will have a lot of practical trainings to learn research and clinical skills. We also think that constructing your knowledge by yourself helps to have better knowledge. So you have assignments and presentation by students in small groups. You will also learn how to lead scientific discussions. Our program is internationally oriented. That means the language is English for lectures and the literature. But in the smaller groups, you also uh, will have um, Dutch speaking groups and English speaking groups. So this is the general structure of our master program. You will have three theoretical courses about addiction, personality disorders, severe mental, health, mental illness in urban context. You will have an advanced statistics course. And then depending on your focus, you will either do three clinical trainings or three research practical trainings. You will also have internships and you will, will conclude this with a master thesis. So let me introduce the three theoretical courses. The first course is about addiction. We all like or dislike some stuff, but the main question is, when does our love for food, sex, or alcohol become problematic and develop an addiction? So you will learn how addiction develops. You will learn how uh, psychological and neurobiological processes influence the development of addiction. You will learn how we can um, diagnose addiction and you will learn how we can treat addiction with uh, different scientifically based treatment options. In the second course, you will learn about personality disorders. We all have seen the movies. We all have one of these friends who are a little bit special. We also have these um, quirks by ourselves. So the question is, when is this a personality disorder? So in this course, you will learn how personality disorders develop, how we can distinguish between normal personality traits and pathological uh, disorder. And you will learn about the treatment of personality disorder, for example, um, the um, schema-oriented therapy. In the third course, you will have um, a broad range of topics about severe mental illnesses, especially in urban contexts. That means we are learning about um, psychosis and other chronic severe mental illnesses, how they develop in an urban context, how they exist in an urban context, and also how we can treat them in an urban context. That means 
you learn how a psychologist works in a multidisciplinary team. We will also learn a little bit more about the DSM, that means the diagnostic manual, how we can use that manual, but what also are the limitations of that manual in severe mental illness. As I mentioned before, you can choose between two tracks. One focuses more on the clinical skills, the other more on the research skills. When you choose the clinical skills track, you will have the same theoretical um, courses, but you will have three clinical practical trainings. In the first training, you will learn about how to diagnose couple problems and to assess um, sexual health and sexual uh, problems. In the two other, you will learn the basics of cognitive behavioral therapy, where you first learn how to assess a case and then using this case to come up with a treatment plan and learn how to treat mental illness with CBT approaches. You will also have two internships, a research internship and a practical internship, which we highly recommend when you want to work in a clinical field afterwards. When you focus on research skills, then you will have three practical trainings, mainly on neuroscientific methods. You will learn how to analyze neuroimaging data and electrophysiological data. And you will learn how to set up and program experiments. Here you will have a main research internship as your internship which concludes also with your thesis. A couple of words about the internships. So when you do a research internship, which is mandatory and will conclude with the thesis, you can do this here at Erasmus University, working in our research group, doing experiments in the lab or survey uh, research, or you can do this externally in clinical settings. When you do a practical internship, then we have a database where you can choose from internal and external internships. But of course, you are also, also free to organize the internship yourself. For Dutch students, it's important to mention that you will get the BAPD uh, NIP qualification, which allows you to enter the postgraduate clinical training, the so-called GZ Obliding. For the international students, it's important for the practical internships that you need to have a, uh, at least a, a level of Dutch understanding because most of, most of the internships are in Dutch, of course. But we also offer and have some connections to international um, English-speaking internships opportunities. And of course, you're always free to choose internships in your home country. And last but not least, you can also combine these internships so you can combine a research and a practical internship. Here you see an overview of all the internship topics we have at the moment, but these change, of course, dependent on what our staff is busy with uh, in research. You can see we have connections to a lot of mental health institutions, so you can combine your research with working in a clinical field. When you're Graduated from this master, you have a lot of career opportunities. You can work as a researcher in mental health care institutions. You can work as a policy maker or advisor in different companies or in the um, ministries or municipalities. You have advisory roles in other research institutions. And of course, I think the main opportunity is to work as a clinical psychologist in mental health care. There are other opportunities in education. And of course, as I mentioned before, you can meet the requirements to enter the GZ Obliding. You also have the qualification to apply for PhD positions in research. So why would you do a master here at the Erasmus University? I think one of the biggest advantages is that you have a large international community. The city is very international. The Erasmus University is very international. We have a very student-centered focus. Not only do we care about your academic performance, but also about your personal growth and well-being. And we have innovative education and research programs. When it comes to the admission, there are some requirements. Please check out the web page for the admission rules and also check out the web page for the deadlines for the admissions. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to go to the contact address 
or you can also chat to our students and staff on the web page. If you find this program interesting and you are curious now, please apply and we are looking forward to meet you here on campus.